All right, guys, so uh, I'm coming to you today with a very quick video about a story that I just came across that was supposed to be uh, a story that I was going to put in today's hasty headlines, but I, I, I truly believe that this story needs to be put out there on its own for people to consume separately um, because I, I want people to understand, and maybe a lot of you out there who are watching this do understand this, but maybe you know people who don't, and I want you to pass along this story to help people understand the absolute bias there is in the media because there's a lot of people out there mostly in the center and on the left, who think there's no bias whatsoever. There's no left-wing bias in media. Um, and they just think that journalists are journalists are journalists. And they think the talking heads like Rachel Maddow and Don Lemon and all these people, they think they're actual journalists when they're not. They are biased opinion makers who try to push off their opinions as news. And that's just a fact. And these are people who supposedly are supposed to be um, upstanding, upholding the, the tenets of, of being journalists to pass on good and correct information to the people. You know, the whole fifth estate thing, to, to be there as this guard against corruption in politics and positions of power and to, to keep the people, uh, us citizens, in the know of what is going on in our country and they don't they don't care about that so some people just need to hear this type of thing when it happens and hopefully if you are this type of person who who thinks journalists are just great and there's no bias whatsoever then you need to hear this but if you also know this but need somebody else to hear this please pass this along this is a story that uh, is from the New York Times, um, and this is actually just an opinion piece. This is a, an editorial from uh, one of their journalists who's also an editor, who's uh, been a journalist for decades, who's also the co-founder of Politico. Surely you've heard of that. Uh, it's him responding to somebody who wrote a letter in to the New York Times. Joe Biden and Tara Reid, whom to believe? That is, that is the story here. This woman writes in, her name is Sarah Dernan, uh, and she's basically saying thanks for the editorial, thanks for, the, uh, for, for everything you do, for the record. She's a lifelong Democrat, doesn't like Trump, wants to see him out of office. Um, but she basically goes on to say, but she's disgusted by the attacks on Tara Reid and the insufficient mainstream media coverage, the slanted headlines, and the flimsy excuses such as that Joe Biden was already vetted when he ran for vice president, blah, 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 blah. She's basically saying, I don't like that the media is being... Hip, uh, you know, hypocrites about this type of stuff, and I and it's it's hard enough to come forward with sexual assault allegations, um, and too many men already get away with it. And why are we treating Tara Reid this way? It's horrible. To which the editor, the journalist, the co-founder of Politico, you know, that upright, good journalist who's unbiased. His response. I want you to very carefully listen to his response. His name is Martin Tolkien. His response to her letter to him as the editor. I totally disagree with this editorial. I don't want an investigation. I want a coronation of Joe Biden. Would he make a great president? Unlikely. Would he make a good president? Good enough. Would he be a better president than the president occupant? Absolutely. I don't want justice, whatever that may be. I want to win. The removal of Donald Trump from office and Mr. Biden is our best chance. Suppose an investigation reveals damaging information concerning his relationship with Tara Reid or something else, and Mr. Biden loses the nomination to Senator Bernie Sanders or someone else with minimal chance of defeating Mr. Trump. Should we really risk the possibility? He doesn't want an investigation. He doesn't want justice. He just wants his political side to win. Period. And this is supposed to be a journalist. This is somebody who is well known in the journalistic community. This is somebody who is a fairly big wig in the New York Times, Washington Post, Politico, all this stuff. This is somebody who's out there who's supposed to have a journalistic approach to putting information out there to the people. And look how seething and biased he is, how hypocritical a person like this will become when the tables are turned. And it's not a Republican being accused of sexual assault, it's a Democrat. This is absolute proof, yet again, of the left-wing media bias in the information that they pass on to you as news, when in fact, most of the time, it's just their opinion. It's just their opinion tainted through their bias, period.